a comprehensive look at trends, fund profiles, and more in Exploring ETFs. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Exploring ETFs. I'm Nina Mishra, and today we are talking about clean energy ETFs, which have been soaring over the past few days. Now, we know that uh, July was the best month for stocks in a long time. The S&P 500 saw its biggest gains since November of 2020, and that was mainly because uh, uh, these tech giants delivered better than, much better than feared results, and also their hopes that the Fed could end its aggressive tightening campaign uh, sooner than earlier expected. Now, clean energy ETFs and stocks and ETFs surged in particular after a deal between Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Senator Joe Manchin of West Virginia was announced. They agreed on an Inflation Reduction Act, which aims to boost domestic energy production and uh, reduce carbon emissions in the U.S. This uh, bill is expected, uh, the Senate is expected to uh, vote on this bill uh, this week. Now, uh, looking over slightly longer term, we know that the war has exposed the reliance uh, of uh, the world's reliance on Russian energy and on fossil fuels in general, and uh, this could actually accelerate the world's transition to clean energy. So over the longer term, the outlook for stocks, these stocks look good. And also because of technological innovations, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the costs uh, have been coming down, clean energy costs have been coming down. And that has kind of changed the competitive balance between clean and traditional energy. Uh, and we could see rising adoption of clean energy and more clean energy generation in the coming years. Now, these stocks had uh, delivered uh, super performance in 2020 and 2021. They were among the best performing ETFs, but they have been hammered down over the past few months because of rising costs, high valuations, and supply chain disruptions, and also because investors pivoted out of growth stocks to value stocks. And now they are uh, jumping back into growth stocks again, and we will see whether that can continue. Now let's take a look at what exactly is there in the inflation reduction act of 2022. So this bill provides for about $370 billion to combat climate change, which would actually be the biggest climate spending package in US history, though it is much uh, lesser than what was originally envisaged in the Build Back Better agenda. Now this uh, act, this particular bill includes tax credits for uh, solar panels, wind turbines, batteries, and critical minerals which are required for clean ener energy generation, tax credit for people who buy electric vehicles, electric cars, and hydrogen-fueled vehicles, and also tax credits for people who install rooftop solar, electric, uh, HVAC, etc. inside their homes. Now, we will take a look at three popular clean energy ETFs that have surged uh, lately. So the first one I'm highlighting is by iShares. Uh, the ticker symbol is ICLN. It invests in global companies uh, in clean energy. Uh, market cap weighted uh, ETF with about 100 holdings has an expense ratio of 42 basis points and pretty popular with 44.9 billion in assets. To learn more about the CTF, you can go to the code page on sax.com. You can read our research report articles. I've also done a couple of podcasts with the provider. You can use the external link to go to Aisha's web page uh, for the ETF uh, and learn more about the Holdings, so Enphase Energy, Solar Edge Technologies, uh, Plug Power, these are among the top holdings in the CTF. Now, the clean energy sector has a lot of global exposure, so that is something 
you should remember. So the performance will depend a lot on not only the US stocks, but on uh, performance of international stocks as well. So this particular ETF has about 45% exposure to the US and then China about 16% and other countries. Now the second ETF is by Invesco. Uh, Invesco Clean Energy ETF, uh, ticker symbol is PBW. Uh, this follows a modified equal weighting scheme, has about a billion in assets and slightly more expensive, 61, bill, uh, 61 basis points in expense ratio. Again, you can go to the code page on sax.com and using the link, you can go to Invesco webpage for the CTF look at portfolio. So you will see that it is not top heavy, almost equal weighting, uh, but you see similar companies and phase for solar, uh, Sunrun, these blink charging, these are among the holdings in the CTF and almost equal weights. This has more exposure to the US, about 73%, and then Canada, China, etc. The third one that I'm highlighting is uh, by State Street. It is the, one of the newer products in the space. It uh, invests in companies in clean energy advancement and conservation, follows a tier weighting scheme, about 290 million in itself because it is a much newer ETF and 45 basis points in expense ratio. Uh, so let's take a look at the CTF, what it holds. So you will see same uh, kind of companies, but a different weighting scheme. Tesla is also one of the top holdings in the ETF. Uh, and looking at the geographical exposure, 77% to the US and then Canada, China, etc. Now on the next slide, I have the comparative performance of these ETFs versus the S&P 500 index over the past year. Uh, so you will see that in Vesco product underperformed significantly, whereas the other two had uh, somewhat similar performance uh, to the S&P. 500 index, though they were more volatile than the S&P 500 index. Now, looking at the past month performance, the Invesco product was the best performer, up about 23%. The S&P 500 index was up about 9% over the past month. And the other two products by iShares and State Street, they were up about 17-18%. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out sax.com slash promo for an interesting offer and also make sure to subscribe to our videos and I'll see you next week.